کے لیے پڑھ رہے تھے اور اس کی کردار کو پڑھنے پڑھ رہے تھے تو اس کا کردار ٹھیک نہیں نکلا آپ نماز چھوڑ دیں آئی اونلی ٹھا یو دس بیکاز نارملی آئی تھنک دیٹ یو گائز وونٹ بیکم لائک دیم سم ٹائمز آئی گیٹ اسکیئر بیکاز دوز فورٹی سکسٹی ایئر اولڈ ون سے پانچ ٹائم آلسو ٹوئنٹی ٹو تھرٹی ایئر اولڈ Maybe it doesn't have to do with their generation and age. Maybe it's possible anybody can become like that. Ibadat is for Allah. Sunnat is also for Allah. Haan, koi Allah story nikaal le, woh alag baat hai. Woh to koi nikaal nahi sakta. Koi nabi story nikaal le. کہ آپ تو نبی قسم کی سنت فالو کرتے ہیں آپ کو نہیں پتہ فلاں وقت میں نبی قسم نے ایسے کیا اس لیے میں اس کو فالو نہیں کرتا آپ ایسے بولے اگر فی وانٹ مول بھی اسٹور کے کیا فائدہ ہے اگر کہہ سکتے ہیں تو ایسے بولے کہ میں نبی قسم کی سنت کی اس لیے نہیں فالو کرتا ہوں کیونکہ آپ کو نہیں پتہ کہ رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے اپنی زندگی میں فلاں موقع پر یہ کیا تھا اس لیے میں ان کو نہیں فالو کرتا ہوں پھر ٹھیک ہے کہہ دو اگر کہنے کے لیے آپ کی ہمت ہے And to now use love for the Prophet and love for the Sunnah as an excuse for all types of tapsiras and agitations and jazbat. Ji. That's like what we say in English, add to add insult to injury. Here, coffee don't want me بچاروں کے فائنل ایگزامس بھی چل رہے ہیں یو گائز ار مڈل آف فائنل ایگزامس وت بیٹ کا کوئی ڈاکٹر اچھی بات تو نہیں ہے ذیشان تم نے پیپرز بھی لکھنے میں لے تو بہرحال اصل رسپانس از تجدید سنت تجدید سنت تجدید سنت ڈونٹ وری اباؤٹ تو ہینے سنت وری اباؤٹ تجدید سنت ہاؤ کین آئی برنگ دا سنت بیک ان ٹو مائی لائف فار مائی اون بینیفٹ Let me try to explain that to you as well. You don't know every sunnah has a joy and a pleasure and a barakah attached to it. Every single sunnah. Whether it's as exalted a sunnah as the sabr and tawakkul of the Prophet Wasallam, whether it's as exalted a sunnah as the love for of the Prophet Wasallam, whether it's as exalted a sunnah as kindness, compassion for humanity of the Prophet Wasallam. Or even if it's as simple a sunnah as saying assalamu alaikum, as simple a sunnah as eating with your right hand, as simple a sunnah as, any, as walking like the Prophet ﷺ, every single drop of sunnah has an ocean of pleasure and joy. And I'm saying benefit, I'm not even saying faida. Has an ocean of pleasure and joy and happiness attached to it. So you should have a, enjoy the Sunnah Tahrik. <laughs> Revive the Sunnah Tahrik. Love the Sunnah Tahrik. Enjoy the Sunnah Tahrik. It's such a thing that you should already be intoxicated over it. The Sahib Ikram radiallahu ta'alam anhum ajmain were intoxicated on the Sunnah. They had a craze for the Sunnah. That's why they preserved it. That's how the Mahdasi know it. Because the Sahaba Ikram preserved it. Every single drop of the Sunnah. That's what we should feel. There are books on this in English. There are Arabic books that have made it to English. Shamail of Tirmizi, available in Arabic, Urdu, and English. All three are in your library. If nothing else, you can look up the publication information. All three are in your bazaars as well. In your Urdu Bazaar, in your Anarkali. Shifa by Qazi Ayaz. All three of them. Arabic, Urdu, English. There are things for you to read if you want to read about this. So we should develop more of a connection with the Sunnah. We should realize that the only thing that has been lessened, that has been given to us in these current events, is how disconnected we are from the Sunnah of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How disconnected we are from his legacy, from love for him.
and to reconnect ourselves. That should be a major, not a side goal, not something we think about tonight on Thursday, May 20th, and forget in a few days. That should be a running, constant, major feature theme part of our life because being his ummati is supposed to be a running, constant, major theme and feature of our identity. In fact, it's supposed to be the asal of who we are. Much more than I'm a 22-year-old, than I'm a Lahore, than I'm a Pakistani, than I'm a lump student, than I'm an economics major. Much more than that is I'm an ummati of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's who I am. That's my real asal. That's my unchanging identity. Today I'm a lump student, tomorrow I'll be a graduate, I'll be doing something else. Today I'm in Lahore, next year you may be somewhere else. There's an unchanging part of you. And that is that we're an ummati of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We have to develop that side. We have to nurture that side. We have to strengthen that side. We have to discover that side. Maybe there's a hidden barakah and hadai in this, that they may be thinking they're trying to hurt the ummah. They may end up being the means of reviving the sunnah. That would be the best job to give them. That of ke cartoon ke but just say, mene sunnah ko discover kiya That'll make the cartoonist tear his head out if you really want to, right? That's what you should be able to say. And the vake before they banned Facebook, that you should make a page on Facebook. And students from all over the world should sign up that we will become the true living cartoon of the Prophet. But the viewer understand what I mean. The true living represent because of this. We're going to change. Mazidah. Here, you study for your exams, you do well in your exams, inshallah, you make dua that you have success in this world and in the next. You start thinking now, after your exams, when you're free, how you can use your free time to connect yourself with the teachings and example and sunnah and sirat of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you're wise, you can even try to pledge something to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when I'm free with my exams, I'm going to dive deeper into the sunnah. If I've spent so many in the next week or in the past week and the next week combined, I've spent so many nighters and nights awake for the sake of this world, for the sake of the knowledge of this world. So now after my exams end, I want to spend at least, at least so many nights awake in, the, in your worship, in your ibadat, in your zikr, in your remembrance, in studying my deen. As many pages I'm going to read in the last week and next week for the sake of my world, I want after it is done to read as many pages for the sake of my being to edify and to stable and to strengthen my knowledge and my understanding of the day. That is how you should be thinking. And that is the jazbah with which you should go into your final exam break. Inshallah. Or we will still be here until June 28th. We will keep meeting throughout June, inshallah. Unless there's a Thursday after the 28th. I don't know what that date is. So all the Thursdays until June 28th we will be here after Maghrib and the next time we will see you is after Ramadan. That will probably be again after Isha. No matter what happens, we'll still be here uh, every Thursday after Isha. So we'll be with you in Maghrib's on every Maghrib, every Thursday after Maghrib until June 28th. And after Eid, on the first Thursday after Eid, back to after Isha. Every Thursday, inshallah ta'ala. Akhir and that one, and alhamdulillah, hidden bit on it. Dorking just some honor to be done on my home, and now on a Sunday on our Sayyid Nam Hamad. While I only said Nam Hamad, my barak was Sunday. Rabbana, the Lamna, and Fusana were in them to fill the Nam with the Hamna, the Nakun and Naman of Fosilin. Ya Allah, you're a big cream, the Lamna, and Fusana. Ya Allah, we have wronged ourselves. We have allowed ourselves to become distant from the Sunnah of Nabi Kareem, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Allah, we have led entire lives that are toheen of that sunnah. We are living betrayals of that sunnah. We are living deceptions of that sunnah. We are living hypocrites of that sunnah. Ya Allah, those of us who even have the zahir sunnah, even we have failed to get the inner sunnah. Ya Rabbi Kareem, Ya Allah, we ask you to forgive us for the sin. Forgive us for this transgression. Forgive us for the truest, the, the most sinister tawheen that lies in our heart. And Ya Allah, we ask that you grant us the truest tawfiq to do true tawheen.